Well, Japan has also been battling a growing humanitarian tragedy. More than 14,000 people are now confirmed dead or missing, while thousands more have been injured. We'll have more on the harrowing conditions faced by survivors later in the programme. But first, new footage has emerged showing how strangers risked their own safety to rescue people left stranded by the tsunami. It was filmed by a local television crew in Sendai. Carl Dinan's report begins with the team fleeing in a taxi as the tsunami gathers force behind them. These are the decisions that keep you alive. Stay in the car or run for it. They run, telling the driver to do the same. Keep running or find shelter. They find a building. The water pooling at their feet now. Look at the height of that white wall. Very soon, the water will reach the top of it. The canopy over the gate will become a bridge. As they climb the stairs, the tsunami bursts through the corridor. They reach the window as two huge red containers sweep across the path. Leaving the taxi was a good decision. It's not floating. But not everyone made shelter. There's a woman on the wall. A man in a tree. And standing on a car roof a father clutching his two young children. Someone finds a fire hose. It becomes a rope. As snow falls, the man from the tree makes it in. As dusk falls, a human chain is formed and reaches the children. Despite the aftershocks, despite the snow, they pass the children from person to person across the tops of shipping containers. <laughs> Carl Denner reporting and some remarkable footage of the tsunami wave smashing into a car has emerged on the internet. This is the moment a driver was hit by the wave while he was videoing his own journey. You can see how the giant wave came without warning, crashing over the wall and the vehicle in front. The road swallowed up by the sea as the car is submerged in water. You can't hear the reaction of the driver on the tape, but it's clearly amazing that anyone made it out of the car. The footage reveals how people were completely unaware of the impending tsunami threat. Well, we'll have more on the Japanese situation later on in the programme, and you can see an interactive video timeline of the earthquake, tsunami and nuclear crisis on our website. The video map includes raw footage of the tsunami, as well as reports from the Channel 4 news team in Japan. That's at channel4.com news.